Well, you know, that whole situation followed uh, FBG Duck dropping the song Dead Bitches, mm. where he's naming all his enemies dead friends. Right. One after another. And it was it was a big song. It was a song that resonated. And, uh, you know, it just seems like from everything that I've known, listen, I, I'm not a street guy on any level, but I interview a lot of these guys, so I get to hear the stories. I get to see mm. the similarities. How often, you know, if you have a someone you really hate and you really want to kill, how often are you getting on a plane and flying out somewhere and, you know, trying to find him at the local mall? Nah, these are all crimes of opportunity. Oh, he he's five miles away. You can hop in a car and go get him. No one's going out there and taking a flight and getting a rental car and getting an Airbnb and somehow trying to find them in this huge city they're not familiar with and not. Nah, that's not happening. So once you leave, 99% of the time you're safe. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, in your situation, like, you know, if you were into it with someone and you were told, oh, they're right here, this high-end neighborhood in, in New Orleans, you would have gone out and did it in broad daylight? No. No. No, indeed, because I'm taking the police around that. See, I'm scared. I don't want to go there and go. I don't want the death penalty. So I'm going to go around and see where they at. I might follow them. Why do you think that they would do it in broad daylight like this? And they connected, like the, the police, it took a while. The feds took a while, but they connected everything. They got the text messages. They got the videos. Yeah, I, mean, I watched it. I watched it too. The cars pulling in. Like everyone connected to it all got hemmed up. Even the, the people who weren't even the shooters. Even one of the guys that was trying to help his brother get away, he got hemmed up. So it's really like seven people who got hemmed up in this. Why do you think that the hatred was so deep that they're willing to throw the rest of their lives away for one guy? Well, for one, they mind not on these cameras and all, they mind on you disrespect my dead homies. So now we don't know if it's a hit that's placed on. Yeah, I mean, there is, there is a rumor there's a $100,000. Oh, okay. Well, see, money on his head. Always real, the rumor right? was that King Von put that money. Okay, but how are you going to really collect that money? Seriously, when you when if you're going to prison, that money doesn't help you. No, but here's the thing: we as people in the, that grew up in the in a in a hood, we live for the moment. Mm. So at the moment, if a person put a hit out, and you're gonna give me half of the money up front. So now I got that. I know once I go handle my beat, we'll give me the rest. You get the money up front, half. That's, That's how when I was thing. coming up. Yeah, you got to give me something. I got to make sure you go, I'm going ahead of my business. Huh? Yeah, you got to give me something up front. I've never heard of this before. Yeah, man. But when you put a hit out, is it usually to one person or is it to just whoever could collect it? It's a guy that's in the Fed, big drug lord. I wish you could interview him. Big drug lord in my city, right? When he put a hit, this is the only thing I didn't like about him. When he put a hit out on somebody, it's going to be like 50,000, 25,000, 50,000 up in there. But you're going to have people out the Calio, the Magnolia, the St. Bernard, Everywhere where he had drugs at, killers he knew, he would let everybody know there's a hit out on this water bottle. So now if I, in, in my old head, let's do place, he, just, he always taught me, he said, man, no matter what beef, if a person's mother's still living, he gonna go visit his mother. We go around his dude's mother's house, we see some homies in an abandoned car with, with sandwiches and sodas and chips. Uh, they already camped out trying to catch the dude before us. I was like, man, he got all these people trying to kill. But I understand, when you got a hit out, you want it done. So um, in that situation, whoever gonna get him first, cause this dude had a good word. But if a person put a hit out and it's just me and him, he gotta give me half of a friend. Cause I, huh. how I know if I go handle the business, you might, I, you know, lie, it might not pay me. There was a guy who used to do this in my city. He'll sit a hit out on a person. And when you take the hit, when you come out to collect the rest of your money, he kill you. He's in the Fed now. So I just seen all kind of cutthroat stuff. Man. It's crazy.